Hey there, it's Robin from 3Events and in this walkthrough video, I'm going to show you how to capture additional information from your attendees when processing their tickets through the checkout screen. So to do this, I've got a demo set up for a conference and we're going to go through the checkout process where we'll get to the checkout screen and here you can view the attendee information at the bottom over here. So by default, the way this one's set up is we're only capturing the first name, last name, email address, and telephone number. So now we wanna add a few more custom fields below the telephone number, such as the attendee's t-shirt size, the dietary requirements, a short bio about who they are, their Twitter handle, and then a checkbox that gives us consent to share their Twitter handle with other attendees. So to do that, we're going to go and edit the product. I'm going to scroll down to the product data area. I'm going to click on the custom attendee fields section. So here you can add as many attendee fields as needed using the new field option. Our first field is going to be the t-shirt size. We're going to make this a select box. So it'll be a drop down. We're going to have small, medium, large, XL. So each of these options entered here are going to be a separate option in the drop down. We're going to make the default small and we're going to make this an optional field. Next, we're going to add the dietary requirements. We're also going to make that a drop down. None. Vegan and hello. We'll make none the default. And we're going to make this a required field. We need it for catering. Then we're going to add a bio. For this, we could either use the text or the text area option. And we're going to make this one optional. We're then going to capture their Twitter handle. Too. And then last but not least, the checkbox. Okay, now that we've entered these fields, I'm going to update the product. And if we go back to checkout and refresh, we'll then see all the fields listed over here. So let's complete these fields. And then we're gonna complete this and have a look at the ticket that's generated. Okay, now that that's completed, we should receive a ticket any second. There it is. Okay, so it includes the basic information and then all the information we captured is listed over here. And that's how to add custom attendee fields to your Foo Events products using the Foo Events custom attendees extension. If you have any questions, please visit our help center. We have extensive documentation which covers the few events, the custom attendee fields plugin. And uh, you can also get in touch through our help center if you have any questions or if you experience any difficulties. Thanks for watching.